Hey out there, Eric Holland here with David Walters Yachts. I'd like to introduce you to a very special boat. This is a custom Bob Perry designed, westerly built, 59 foot cruiser that is just out of this world in terms of build quality, systems integration, and just general setup. This boat is an incredible machine. She's designed to cruise the world, and she has. She's cruise specific, she's cruise the Atlantic, and this is your opportunity here to purchase one of the finest under 60 foot yachts out there. So this is, um, it's an epoxy e-glass construction, foam core, leisure furl boom, cutter rig, with a very protected cockpit, twin helm design with a massive interior. And she's just absolutely stunning. Her name is Free Range Chicken, and let's go aboard. So here we are on the uh, starboard bow, and um, you know a couple things that notes about uh, the design uh, from Bob Perry here is that um, she has a nice high shear here of the bow that rises up, uh, so a lot of great protection while underway at sea. Um, she has um, a nice voluminous interior thanks to the high shear line, and um, you know, a couple notes here about uh, like the ground tackle. We've got a nice extended pulp here with uh, dual anchor rollers, port and starboard. Right now the starboard anchor uh, is attached. Uh, there is a backup fortress anchor stored in the lazarette. Uh, she does have uh, a cutter rig. So we have a um, forward sail here is a full size jib with uh, inboard jib tracks. So she's a great up and performing boat. And then as well, there is a stay sail here. And uh, she does have downwind sails too. Um, we have two spinnaker poles on deck uh, that can also be used as reaching struts. And nice oversized cleats here. High lifelines, very tall. We have great beefy tow rail there. You see the windlass there up on the bow on the forward deck. We have a little wave break right here for water coming over the deck. And you have the uh, hatch right there. That hatch leads into the sail locker up forward. Uh, it can also be used as a crew locker, crew uh, uh, living area. There is a bunk bed in there. We have some opening port lights here on the hull sides. Uh, you can see she does have a raised saloon type style. So we have these great picture windows on the bow uh, facing forward and on the sides, port and starboard. Uh, leisure full boom. An aluminum mast. We do have a set of winches here on the deck at the mast as well. Um, however, in its current configuration, they are unused, but if you wanted to, you could use those. Um, all the lines needed to go aft uh, do proceed aft into the cockpit. So they're just there at the moment of being unused. We have a hard bimini right here uh, with the, the Dodger windows are uh, plexi so they're a nice rigid plastic they can be removed if you want to for additional ventilation the hard top is there um, there is no solar but it's easy to add solar it's a nice flat area up there you can put a good amount of solar panels aboard a bimini here over the helms and a nice transom area with an electronics arch with a step down center transom swim ladder large swim platform of course, there are room for davits if uh, you'd like to add them. So we're gonna go ahead and step aboard here and continue the tour starting from the bow. So up here on the bow, a couple things to point out. Again, we have the stainless steel dual anchor roller set up up here. We have a Lumar windlass with the controls from here and in the cockpit from the helm. We do have a, uh, for the secondary anchor, we do have a backup anchor pipe. Right behind me here, this is the sail locker I mentioned. Uh, this does have some steps down. Under those steps there is the retractable bow thruster. Now this locker is quite large. Uh, there's a remote control right here for that bow thruster to uh, raise or lower it. It can also be raised or lowered from the uh, nav station. A little pan around here. You can see the uh, anchor locker forward. Some sails over right now. 
But this is a very large locker, and uh, over here on this side, you can see that uh, we do have a, a bunk bed here. It's currently in its raised position, but if you wanted to, a crew member could live in here. Looking at, we can see we have some uh, derade vent guards right here. Uh, the derade vents are aboard, they're stored right now, but we do have four. There are two here, and there are two more over the saloon that would go into place. Large opening deck hatch here with a forward cabin. I mentioned that we had inboard jib tracks. You can see them right here, and outboard jib tracks. See the, the mast here, the detail. This is all just recently refinished. See, it's in excellent condition. Uh, hydraulic van control from the cockpit nice wide walkways all the way forward and aft you know it's nice nicely unencumbered lots of room here um, you could store a kayak here paddle boards uh, lots and lots of room there's lots of room on top of the cabin house here for storage of toys or a dinghy or if you wanted to put solar up here there's plenty of space for it like i mentioned before that the top of the uh Hard bimini here is that there's room to put solar on top. We have uh, electric winches back here. Um, and a lot of the uh, deck hardware, such as the main sheet and the furling lines, all have individual clutches, so they're nice, easy control. You can free up the winches. Uh, we had the uh, backstay is uh, controlled via a winch right here. It's on a purchase. And we also have the uh, port side runner right here that can also go to the winch and the starboard side one over there. Uh, the storage on the boat is plentiful. Uh, for instance, we'll start back here on the transom. You already saw the sail locker. This is the transom garage. This is a nice large locker. Right now there's a couple jerry cans in there. There is bilge pump for this area. There's another locker here. It's quite deep, goes all the way over to the side. Over on this side, propane. Two large bottles and a regulator. Just forward to that, port and starboard side, we have access to the lazarette. Lots of storage and the steering gear. More on that later. Port and starboard, we have these little cubbies. There's some diving gear. And then up here, we have another locker, and this one is the cockpit refrigerator. That is a functional refrigerator in the cockpit. We have this movable footstep right here, so when you're sailing at an angle, it's nice to be able to rest your feet and take a break. We have the starboard helm here. Uh, the starboard helm also has the uh, bow thruster controls, and then the engine controls over here. We have radios instrumentation, uh, control here for the Vang, chart plotter. And then on the port side here, we had the engine gauges and then more instrumentation and autopilot control panel and BNG. Uh, note is that the autopilot can be controlled from any MFD. All you gotta do is hit one of these menus. There's your autopilot controller right there. So just port and starboard helm and a nav station can control the autopilot. Uh, up further forward, you'll see there's a row of four instruments up there. Uh, for more uh, displays and there's lighting under the bimini and then we have this really nice table here with these drop leaves for alfresco dining and then this hatch here opens up into the mechanical space below or the uh, workbenches so you can get some ventilation in there or stick your head out pass tools up that kind of thing and the companionway does slide down all the way so it's hidden there below deck so the design of the boat was really well done it's a very well built boat um, really great setup. I'm six foot three and I have just a cavernous amount of space through here. I can walk directly under the hard top with no issue.
right, so we're here inside a free range chicken. Uh, we're in the galley, just at the base of the companionway. Um, one of the large uh, design concepts of the owner um, when he had Bob Perry design the boat and then had Westerly build it was he wanted the boat to be literally man-sized. He wanted open space to get the stuff, to install equipment, to uh, be able to live aboard the boat, to be able to cruise wherever he wanted in just total comfort. Uh, so you'll see there's lots of space. I mean, just look at the saloon with uh, two separate dinettes, both of which can drop down. Full-size nav station. You have a day head over here, wet head, aft cabin, mechanical room, access to the lazarette back aft. And then of course, this massive, massive galley. So we'll start our tour here in the galley. Uh, you can see right away that there's a ton of countertop space. Um, as part of the countertop right here, we have a dull basin stainless steel sink with a dish drying area over here. Uh, we have strainers. Uh, now this is uh, plumbed to a gray water tank system. So you can uh, put water down in here and then hold it to dump out at certain hours, depending on if you're in a certain port that requires that. And we have a level gauge here for that gray water tank, propane uh, fume detector and uh, solenoid control right there. It is a pull-out sprayer, soap dispenser, and there is a fresh water tap down here as well, foot pump, multiple drawers for cutlery and supplies. There's a very large storage cabinet right here. Now, uh, this uh, cabinet actually forms the top edge of the engine access compartment. So there's a large access here, as well as on the other side, uh, that whole base pan comes out to get to the top of the engine. Another large storage cabinet here. And just more storage around and under. Uh, we have a two burner force 10 stove and oven. And then we have a complete set of two refrigerators and then two separate freezers. Um, and then uh, we have the control panels for those back here. They're all C-Frost digital units. Uh, there is another refrigerator in the cockpit for beverages. Uh, microwave here. And as you can see, more storage all the way around. Right next to the pantyway, we have a full-size trash compactor, uh, along with uh, storage here for uh, just uh, tools on the ready, you know, cleaners, um, things you might need at a moment's notice. Again, more drawers for storage. Um, passing through here into the mechanical space. Now this is a full-size workshop. Uh, on the overhead actually here, uh, this lazarette hatch does open. So you can get full headroom or pass tools in and out, you know, whatever you need to do. Nice shelf here. Um, we have the uh, AC panel right here. So this is where the genset controls are, inverter charger, um, all your AC breakers, uh, Spectra water maker control panel, ice maker, more storage, more cabinets, just more and more and more of everything. There's spare parts galore. This isn't a boat where you, know, you need to buy a ton of stuff to go cruising. It, it literally has all the spare parts you need to go out right away. Now, turning around here, um, opening this door here uh, goes into the uh, technical area under the cockpit. And uh, as you can see here, uh, there's a load of equipment. Uh, right in front of me here uh, is the uh, part of the water maker system. The membranes are in the uh, lazarette, uh, which is back here behind this bulkhead. This is a watertight bulkhead separating the lazarette from the interior of the boat. Uh, we have part of the fresh water system here, um, automatic fire suppression system, uh, the generator, it's an Onan gen set right here. It's an 11 and a half kilowatt. Uh, it's got about 5,600 hours, I think. Runs like a top. Uh, we've got uh, pumps down here, seawater pump uh, for the refrigeration and freshwater pump for the fresh water system. We have our uh, sea frost refrigeration boxes. As I said before, there are four refrigerators. There are uh, three in the galley, uh, and then there is a uh, one in the cockpit as well. It's the back side of the AC control panel right there. And then we have the breakers here for all the um, electric winches on deck. And the generators in the husk box, and then this compartment here closes that off. And there's more access here. This panel comes off to get the generator as well as under the companionway. Uh, continuing over here to the uh, starboard side aft, we'll stop here in the uh, day head really quick. 
So you have a stainless steel sink, lots of storage again, uh, plenty, plenty of room to store items. Now this opens up here, it's a very deep locker, a lot of storage in here. Uh, vacuum flush head. Uh, both heads uh, drain into, uh, sorry, the heads are uh, vacuum flush. They drain to two separate holding tank systems. Uh, the sinks and the shower drains uh, drain into their own uh, shower sumps and then they pump over the side. This is the uh, aft cabin here. Now we have a, a double berth and we have a uh, drop down berth overhead as well. Uh, this area had its own uh, air conditioner. There are four air conditioners aboard. Hanging locker, lots of storage under the bed. There is a uh, port side uh, saloon air conditioner that does this area, and then there is a starboard side saloon air conditioner that, that does this area, as well as an air conditioner forward. Uh, moving over to the nav station here, uh, we can see we have all the standard equipment. We've got uh, our DC panel, tank gauges, bilge pumps, stereo, radios, uh, B&G electronics, uh, sat phone uh, as well as uh, PC based navigation with a laptop with its own separate screen Nice large nav seat. This is not an afterthought. This is a very plush comfortable seat You could sit two people here if you really wanted to uh, It's a nice big area to work. Uh, there's even a webcam installed uh, Just in case you need to do some uh, teleworking uh, over on the saloon here uh, port side uh, we have electrical and some plumbing access in here. We have remote battery switches for the 24 volt and 12 volt systems and the engine. This wraps around, more storage over here. We have another desk over here. So um, if you had a second person, a spouse that need to use a computer or to work, you know, this is a full sized uh, desk here, more storage inside, there's even a printer. There's a TV mount above. You know, a lot of people these days, um, you know, husband, wife, spouses, partners, um, they're both working or they're both uh, needed to communicate. And uh, sometimes you gotta do it at the same time. So it's nice to have two areas to be able to do that in. Um, again, that, that nice, large open space, great size dinette here, lots of access to things. You know, this right here is access under um, the saloon floor and this gets you into um, it's a lot of storage space. You have extra shore power cords there. And there's one of the batteries. And one thing to note is that all these panels here are uh, locking. So they can all be locked for offshore. Now that meets uh, uh, US uh, sailing SER for safety offshore for racing. So you can lock all these down. Swinging around to the starboard side, we have another dinette here, you know, a little breakfast nook. Um, this table also drops down so you can form a bed. More storage, of course, all around. Now we have a step down here. Uh, there is a sliding door right here that partitions off to lock this area off so you can you know, make this a nice private forward cabin. Now before we go into the forward cabin, we'll stop here on the right. Uh, we have a completely separate full-size shower and it's big. I can tell you what, it's a nice shower. It's got a built-in seat. It's all fiberglass, you know, it's really easy to get around in here. Uh, we have more storage here on the outboard side. We'll sort of swing around. We can see the bottom part of the keel stepped rig. Um, a special note to make is that the Genoa and Staysail halyards uh, come below the mast here to this winch because normally you're not playing with them very much uh, when you're out there. Uh, once the rig's up, once they're on the furlers, you know, you might do a halyard dusting once in a while, but there's just less stuff on deck and less stuff on the mast to deal with. So they're down here and they're actually look pretty good. You know, it's a nice setup. I like that. Uh, we have the uh, head compartment here for the aft cabin. Um, very similar to the front, a little bit better portion into with, uh, you know, uh, 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 with the uh, Tegan Holly sole instead of fiberglass like the aft head, uh, but we do have a vacuum flush toilet. Again, more storage, stainless steel basin sink. Uh, right here we have a vanity with a pop-out seat. And of course we have a queen size bed here. This is the uh, steering compartment and lazarette. 
And uh, you know, looking around here, you can see there's a generous amount of space. Um, what we have is uh, a watertight bulkhead right here from the living area. Forward to this bulkhead is the uh, mechanical space where the generator and uh, refrigeration and electrical is. Uh, aft cabin right over here. And then the workroom over here. And in the workroom, there's a uh, hatch right here. It's Lumar hatch. It's watertight when it's closed. Uh, so uh, you had a fully sealed up compartment. Obviously, you can see the, uh, the rudder right here uh, with the carbon fiber stock and cable steering. Uh, you can see the uh, Spectra water maker right here. It's a nice, easy to access spot. Tons and tons of storage. Uh, you can see some uh, over here. You see there's a lot of fenders in that compartment. There's also an outboard motor uh, bracket. We have some dive tanks mounted around. Uh, there's some steps here to step up to the deck. Uh, both the uh, doors on either side open, so there's generous access. And then uh, this is the starboard side aft. You can see the shore power connections on the transom, the breakers, and a lot of lines right here. Uh, as well on the other side, right behind me, uh, there is a spare rudder here. Uh, it's shorter than the standard rudder, but it's, uh, if you're going to be cruising around the Pacific or something, it's good to have a spare. You might not have them out there. And uh, uh, there's also lighting in here, um, and it's just really easy to move around. Uh, you can crawl around in here all over the place or access it from the interior of the boat uh, while underway. So a uh, great spot to store all your gear. This has been a tour of the 2006 Perry 59 Free Range Chicken. She's located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, as available well for showings. Please contact the listing agent, Eric Holland, at 410-279-3027 or Eric, E-R-I-K, at davidwaltersyachts.com.